28 is a problem that gets you thinking about capacitors in, in circuits and what schematics for circuits might look like. Here's a battery sitting here, which uh, very soon in our class will just get replaced by the schematic symbol for a battery that will look like that, but for now we'll look at like, make it look like the picture you used to. This is a switch here indicating a wire with a brake on it, and if, if a finger came down and just pushed on this switch, it would close the circuit like that, and current could certainly throw out, flow out of the battery, thus completing the circuit. Then, of course, you have a 10 microfarad capacitor sitting there, um, sort of awaiting some action, so to speak. Initially, the switch is, uh, is open, and the capacitor is uncharged, so there's no charge in the capacitor. What it wants to know is how much charge flows through the switch after the switch is closed. So when this is closed here, positive charge is going to flow into this plate, negative charge is going to flow into that plate, and the question wants to know well, how much charge must have flown. So I'm going to go ahead and close the switch like this, indicating a complete circuit, and like I said, much of positive charge will flow into this plate, much of minus charge will flow in that plate, only when the switch is closed, but that's what the system will look like. If you want to know how much charge must be on the system at that point, well, what you have here when the capacitor is full is you have a capacitor which has a capacitance of 10 microfarads, and it's been charged up to a voltage of 1.5 volts. How do I know that? Because the top plate of this capacitor is connected to the top terminal of this battery, which is at 1.5 volts. The potential here is at 1.5. The potential down here is at zero. That's the other side of the battery, the negative terminal, and that's what the other terminal of the, of the capacitor is connected to. So of the capacitor itself, this plate must be at a V of 1.5 volts. This plate here must be at a V of zero volts. So you do have 1.5 volts across the capacitor, as I stated. To get the amount of charge that must have flown must have gone through the switch from the battery on the capacitor, you can just use the definition of capacitance, Q is equal to CV, get that to work out.